Good thing we're not live, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Stop that, reset. Okay, cool. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of the Unknown Error Podcast. I think that's what we're going to call it. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, me, Troy, here with Marty today. All right. This is the first time we're doing this. This is weird because we're literally in our living room just talking to each other. But, I mean, we figured that we would do podcast because it's kind of the thing to do. Yeah, I, I guess we should start with, like, uh, wh- why, why the hell are we doing a podcast? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good thing. Why, then, why the fuck are these guys doing a podcast? Um, well, because we, we want to start branching out and making more things than just fucking rare candies. And we have a lot of things in the wings of, like, actual stuff that we want to make. It's just time like, and and money. Yeah, it's not even that we want to make it. Like, we have some stuff in the... Per, like, Move the mic closer to your face. We there have we some go. stuff, like, actually in the production. Yeah, exactly. It's just, yeah, like, we have, like, the writings done. Like, one thing's already shot and finished. It just needs to be edited. And yeah, I've just been, it's just been way too fucking busy to do worth it. Worth putting together. We'll probably put it out there and see what people think of it and see if people actually think it's funny, but, yeah. you know. But, uh... Turn it to private a week later. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. No, yeah, so, figured we would... We, we, we spend a lot of time on Nostalgia Bros talking random shit but we, on that we try to be really entertaining i think this we want to be entertaining obviously but this is kind of just our our way to be able to talk about literally anything that we want without not get sidetracked yeah exactly or not like focus on the game and try to be somewhat okay at video games yeah but yeah so this is going to be on uh unknown era films. This, is, this will be on the unknown era films uh youtube and then who knows what will happen if people like this, then maybe eventually we'll go live. Maybe eventually we'll like stream it. Maybe eventually it'll become a video podcast, which would be cool. Maybe eventually we'll put it on iTunes, which would be really cool. But for right now, it's just going to be a video on YouTube without an actual video. Yeah. We'll figure so out there a we go. sweet thumbnail to just leave up there for 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, enti- oh totally. They're going to love it. Yeah. The, <laughs> the other thing, too, uh, this, this will incorporate more people. Uh, as of right now, it is just me and Martin yeah, doing we'd, it tonight. But we'd love to get... And we, it's also going to be weekly. Yeah. So that it's continuous content while we work more on the actual production stuff, such as Rare Candies and other series that we have planned to yeah. do. But... uh. Yeah, so let's jump right into it, uh, even though, you know, we jumped right into it three, three minutes ago. Anyway, so I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know about you. You're lucky. You just quit your job. Yeah, because I'm going back to school. Yeah. I can't work at the same time. Also, school. manager is dick. Well, yeah, like the, the job was all right. Manager is a huge... Uh, cunt weasel <laughs> uh, that didn't know how to do his job and just uh, shit like that. Uh, but the be- the best way to describe it is like one of those people that they have been around for too long that you can't fire them because they're not yeah. doing enough wrong. Yeah, exactly. But they still like aren't any good at their job, so you can't really like fire them. So normally, what you do is you put them in like like a higher tier store yeah. but like the lowest of the higher tier stores that way like they feel important <laughs> but they really aren't you just put them off to the side so that they they they'll do harm but not enough harm that'll fuck everything up yeah. you just put them off to the side in their own little cage or they can r- run around in circles and do whatever but it won't then, cause too much trouble and then then you move them up into the uh most important store in canada you try, uh, you try to give them I'm enough. not going to say that lightly. That This is like, I worked at like one of the largest stores in all of Canada. Are, are you going to say what store? Nah, it's fine. We'll no, leave, okay. We'll just leave it there. That's fair. It was an electronics store. Let's yeah. say that. Uh, but yeah, so it's fucking dumb. Like all the stories you told me were hilarious. Yeah. Maybe eventually. Recently, the problem before that was my manager that was before him was the best manager we've ever had. And yeah. when he left, they were offering him money to stay. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's it's pretty funny. Just because they he was way too good, and then this guy. But now you're now you're jobless. 
Go well, to actually, I'm on vacation for two weeks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got vacation hours. I forgot. That's right. That yes. I have left over. So I'm actually 80, on vacation for 80 hours of vacation pay. Yeah. So I'm just chilling for two weeks at that's, least. That's pretty sick, actually. While dealing with school. But yeah, just getting the school stuff sorted out. Yeah, no. No, that's, that's definitely. If you haven't been in school in a few years. Yeah, about three. Yeah. Because you did your first year. Yeah. And then you just. To, well, then, fucking <laughs> other the other horseshit. The happened. fucking program you were in was crazy. Yeah. So, you know, but but now that's that's good, and you'll be n- not incredibly busy as now. Like we both were working this it was whole like summer, 40 a week. basically forty a week, nine to five every single day, which is crazy. And uh, now we're gonna have some free time at least a yeah, little bit try to put out all that quality content yeah i'm still working i still have another week to you go have like three days right oh no i haven't i have three days yeah that's right i'm my, time frame right now i don't even understand i don't even know just because like it's been so busy but yeah i have all of august off to do this stuff but yeah it's been it's been pretty crazy but we really want to make some more stuff but yeah no i'm just exhausted just because work has been crazy i think i've put out what i do like into the internet world of the internet so i think some people know like if people follow me on things like on twitter or my instagram like yeah. then they know which i don't really give a shit about because if so if someone sees what i'm going to if uh, what i'm doing and then actually comes and tries to find me i think there's bigger problems than well like for you what it is. for you there was security at the job like because the where you work now, people can't just walk in the door. No, that's very true. So they have to be part of like the area. So the thing is, for me, like anyone could have just found me. That's the only reason why I don't really list it. Same with kind of like Connor. Is that like yeah, technically yeah, it's, it just makes it a little too easy to find someone these days um, on Facebook. If you know someone's first and last name and what they look like, you can definitely find them on Facebook. True. Yeah, very like true. Like a one hundred percent, you put their name in. You search and then you check their photo. You check the photos of all the people that share the name, and you have already found them. And yeah. by then, you can find out everything about someone. Basically, because most people don't set their shit to private. No, true. And no, then, but I don't really, I don't really give a shit about if people know what I do. Mostly just because like what I do isn't that glamorous. <laughs> so yeah, but I work at a university in the film and photo equipment cage, and it it's just the summer 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 courses. Uh, ending right now so everybody's handing in equipment so i have to deal with a bunch of adults and uh young people handing in equipment that in the most ridiculous ways possible things not in the right place things broken things not there not there which is great i love it not at all and they're doing construction which i don't know why they didn't plan the fucking times at the right points like I have literally three days left, and they decided to come in and do all this construction work with the ventilation pipes. And now I have to wear a hard hat and steel toes at work, where I could just wear whatever I want and listen to whatever music I wanted. But now, nope. So that's great. I love it. Anyways, let's talk about something else. Like how much I, you spent for this setup? Oh, yeah. It boggles well, my mind that you just like opened, like freely dropped cash. But I guess we're doing this now, so it makes You can more speak sense. more into the microphone, too trying it has to be pointed at your face like a big metal dick imagine you're giving it a bloaty just i can't uh, i don't <laughs> like i don't <laughs> <laughs> also you can see the waveform and see how loud you're being but that's fine but uh no yeah so i d- we did buy this new system this new we got an actual soundboard i took a photo of it and posted on the unknown error instagram if you want to follow that there'll be a link in the description see just put an annotation up just to make you work through this video i'm not going to <laughs> i'm just gonna i'm just gonna chop this up put it up and that's it um <laughs> but uh yeah so got a new soundboard it wasn't that much it's real this one's relatively cheap compared to what there could be yeah and then i just bought a couple of cheap mics it's because instead of using we had a fucking blue snowball which wasn't it wasn't bad it for did its wh- job it did its job but now it can sit in the wings and come out whenever we need it but uh this is much better and i hope it's much better quality i don't know yet because i haven't listened to this yet this is the very first time i 
took these out of the box, set them up, and this is what we're doing. And you're going <laughs> to have to listen to 30 minutes of bad footage. That would suck. That would really, really suck. But no, I think it'll be good. And uh, and I and this stuff should last quite a while. And this stuff will be good for the Let's Plays. Right. Now we just need two more mics. And then we can have real discussions. No, that's just bullshitting around. <laughs> yeah. It's real intellectual It will still be just us bullshitting. Oh, yeah, around. but of course. Like, we haven't really planned anything for this. Uh, I, I, I was... <laughs> when, when we decided that this was going to be the time that we recorded this, I was like, hey, Troy, let's... You think of some topics to talk about? I'm going to think of some topics to talk about. And then literally I didn't sit down at all today. I think I had lunch for 15 minutes. Yeah. I, I did this it. like I do most things where I was like last minute. I would just decided that, yeah, I should probably write down some of those topics. And then like we'll eventually get around to maybe talking about them. Or like or like think of like segments or whatever. Like we had a few ideas, but yeah, that'd be cool. Anyways, but you wrote down some topics. Let's actually talk about those. Oh, yeah. Uh, the first one that I actually want to talk about because I was actually watching it earlier is like new TV shows that are actually like higher quality for once. Because like I don't know about you, but thinking back five years, yeah, maybe ten years. Let's stretch it a bit further. You couldn't think of like a truly great TV series. Well, that, not like could compare to what we have now. Well, not like cinematic ones. Like I know, I know what you're saying. Like so, like like I mean, because what did you have? You had Simpsons. Yeah, it's cartoon. You had Friends, the sitcom, and like nothing else. Friends was uh, like three camera setup, kind of sitcom. So they just set up the cameras and then pan with them. They just stood in a single set on a stage in front of a in audience, like in in studio audience. So it wasn't really anything. It's the exact same setup as How I Met Your Mother and. Uh, and Big Bang Theory now. Yeah. And Two and a Half Men. Like, it's the same setup, so nothing really crazy. And then you have friggin' Walking Dead, uh, you, you could literally Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones. 90% of, yeah, HBO. All, H, anything HBO. Yeah. Come out of nowhere and make basically mini movies for TV. Yeah, and now we even have, like, Daredevil, which I was watching earlier. Yeah. It's got a huge praise. How, how is it? it? It's really good. Like, it, it's more normal, like human than the other superhero shows going on but yeah the, the big thing now is like quality has just gone up is there another TV. is there another marvel there's flash and Gr no that's dc that's dc yeah because that's um, what i was gonna ask is there another marvel tv series there's that one's that one's netflix yeah that's, original that's a different like yeah uh, daredevil's different but this is uh um, well all the all the dc you're, you're thinking are. marvel sh uh, agents of shield Oh right, no, that's actually that is actually on TV. Mar yeah, yeah, that's Marvel. Yeah, because all the other ones are DC, yeah. like Arrow, Flash. Um, there's going to be another one, I think I've heard of. I'm not too sure. I think they're ma oh they're making a Punisher. Are they making a Punisher? That'd yeah, be that, interesting. that's Marvel, but oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have I'm trying to think of some other ones, but I can't. I just I don't know. I don't watch TV too often, just because. <laughs> We don't have TV. TV. We yeah. stream. We have that sweet, sweet internet. Yeah, we have the we have the interwebs to yeah. watch TV on. Uh, shut up, turtle. They, no one can hear it for once. Maybe I'll have to see later. Yeah. Turtles fucking splashing around in the background, doing dumb things like a turtle would do. But uh, no, yeah, no, uh, fucking. I, I. It's really interesting the stuff that's coming out with that stuff, just because. I, I don't know I don't know what it was that like there that that resurgence of actual good quality. I think it's that they could stuff. make it within an affordable range, probably because they're making like cinematic level stuff. Yeah, and then but, like and then like every like I don't know what the seasons are like for. Well, like actual TV stuff is like. How, like 20 episodes 20 episodes per season is 20 that, is, to 23 yeah. is that is that what arrow was arrow yeah. was yeah. yeah that's what standard would be hbo's 10 yeah but that's because they're hour like tr true hour long yes yeah. but then even like even uh breaking bad was like that and that was yeah. on amc it wasn't even HBO. Yeah, same with walking dead so, yeah exactly no well, those those, those are both amc's yeah there's a few i i I hate it because I really want to get into a lot of those shows, but I just don't have time. Maybe over August I'll, like, power through a lot of those shows. But, like, I don't know. I watched the first season of Breaking Bad. I have never finished it 
just because. Yeah, I watched the first season as well. That one's de- – well, I watched – into second season but i'm yeah. like this is mad depressing i don't want to watch this anymore well i heard it's like but, first season second season and then like third and fourth or like uh, and then it like really picks up so i know that i have all the dvds of dexter i've watched I have the entire most of dexter i have the entire series and it, it's one of the best it's, it's actually a really good story so this is when we were living at o'keefe and uh this was in my third year there so after you guys left yeah and then all of a sudden we start getting these packages to the house to this dude uh who put our address but it's being shipped from like india and like in china and like really weird places and at first it was it was uh the very first thing that we got was like a do-it-yourself jewelry kit and it was like beads and stuff and then it was these then and then the second package that came was like this gardening stuff for like home gardening. And it was like these, these little balls that you put into a bowl and you soak them and they absorb the water and then you can put a plant in it. And so you don't have to use, whoops, I hit the mic. So you don't have to use dirt or anything. Um, and then the third package we got was all the seasons of Dexter, like literally every single season in a box in like two boxes so we had no idea what to do so then i was just like i'll just i'll just take them so i have literally all the seasons Dexter for free nice like like even though i could just stream it online but like i have all the dvds for no reason even though i've only seen like maybe one season of the show and it wasn't even a good season (laughs) it was like season five or whatever okay no but i definitely want to get into more shows yeah I've watched, I've caught when you guys are watching, when you and Allie are watching Game of Thrones, and now Supernatural, rewatching all of Supernatural, just waiting for season eleven to come out. Well, it's it's a really good like that one's like a series that I don't think will let die for a while because like they manage to keep it fresh. Yeah. As much as a lot of the same drama comes up, like, oh, I don't trust you. Oh, I don't trust you. You're my brother. I love you, uh, but but you're not the same person anymore. Yeah, it repeats that, but, like, that, that's, like, side, that's, like, side, like, text. Yeah. And compared to, like, oh, shit, something new is actually happening. The darkness. <laughs> well, that's the newest one. Yeah. That's probably the most interesting, because now it's like, oh, they're back together as buddies again. Oh, yeah, this doesn't man. happen for... Oh, like 10 seasons. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, no, pr- exactly. No, yeah, so, I don't know. I, I try to get into more shows, but it's just tough. No time, really, because I get home and I just want to not do anything but play video games. And, I don't know, YouTube has, like, really become my TV. Like, I'll yeah. watch and follow people and watch their stuff, like, gaming stuff and whatever. But, yeah. What yeah, else you got? What well, else? the other thing, too, like, just on that topic is, like, okay. with games was, like, I was I've been playing Dragon Age and I know you kind of see me. I played Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, I played one and I've played two. I like Dragon Age Inquisition. It's very very good. You know what's the goddamn problem with it? Too too, too much side quest. Too much side quest. A side quest is like all you do in this game. Yeah, you it's, said that before. So like when you do the story quest, you're like these are fucking cool as hell. Oh wait, that's because it's still Dragon Age. The problem being that to do the story quest to move forward to progress in any kind of like better way you have to do hours of side quest yeah. and this isn't wow this isn't guild wars this isn't every other mmo where you do the grind you get your character maxed and you go out because the thing is in the other two games two even not being that great comparatively you had good pacing yeah the story still took you 40 hours 20 to 40 hours depending on which one um but you really had like the pacing made you work it this one i think i've completed three story quests and it's been like 10 hours (laughs) it's like what the hell all i've done is kill bears kill rebels kill mages kill templars close rifts find shards get meat uh get or and it's like i haven't actually done anything i don't know what the story is yet because all i've done so far is show up close a big rift uh and i think i've picked one side so far and that's like actually all i've done wow as far as story is concerned that's lovely 
I heard I heard that uh, that Witcher is the exact same thing. Well, Witcher is like I don't think it's anything but side quests. It's like if if you want to spend if if you're the type of gamer that wants to delve into a game and spend literally your entire life playing it, Witcher. <laughs> well, the thing is like Witcher is supposed I to think it was be like 100, that. No, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. I was gonna say 100 plus hours of gameplay. No, it that is. Make, it is. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. But see, the thing is, like, that game acknowledges that it's about side quest. It's not about. See, the thing that I don't like now. There's games that have too much side quest, but there's side quest without kind of any kind of real repercussion. Like right. it doesn't it doesn't do anything. It's not story. Killing five bears and s- saving villagers. I don't actually get to see saved villagers. I just talk yeah. to the guy that's like, oh. Thank you. Everyone will be better now. And you need... Hello there, traveler. You need to go and find these six berries, and then you need to go take them to this man. I've marked it on your map. And then you go take it to them, and he's like, oh, cool. Thanks for the berries. Here's gold. It's like, what the fuck did I just do that for? Man, like, I'm a courier. <laughs> exactly. I'm just a fucking mailman. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, but then you look at games like Skyrim. Now, Skyrim does have some side quests without, like, actual like consequence right but those are like random when you do anything in that game you walk into um it's a place really far west and it's it has the forsaken there you immediately walk in this guy tries to stab this person like if he does he'll kill them if he doesn't you manage to stop him somehow right you hit him with a disarm which is what i did and it stops him from killing them now you you go and investigate that and you find it's this conspiracy that's happening in the area with the jail and the people that control conspiracy theory within skyrim no not like a conspiracy theory it's an actual conspiracy okay (laughs) it's not a theory it's happening you're part of it you so you get thrown in jail you find all this stuff out but like everything that you do that's like side quest is a story brotherhood of blood story thieves guild story uh mages college story warriors guild or companions whatever um there's more story like when you do those it's a storyline it has stuff that fucking happens you do it and you're like cool i'm a werewolf now because i went with these companions that were supposed to be the warriors guild why the fuck did this happen i don't know but at least the story kind of is entertaining during that time it's not like yeah you should go here and kill this stuff sweet you leveled up now Sweet, you leveled up now. Okay, how many things did you kill in this entire time? Sweet, you leveled up now. Okay, now, hey, do you want to do one story quest? Cool, you have enough points to unlock it. (laughs) Do the story quest, and then you do it, and you're like, that was a sweet half hour of time. That's such bullshit. Yeah, so, like, the progression's kind of weird and iffy. The world, like, Origin was a very small world. Okay. It still took me 40 hours to beat. Yeah. That's incredible compared to the fact that I can spend 10 hours getting nowhere in Inquisition. Yeah. And not have any idea what the story is yet. Like, I, you do this online, the tapestry. Yeah, yeah, and I saw it, you do it that. Show, it makes the world, you can make the world. And yeah. I'm sitting there and I'm making this world. And then I get and like, see all these like things. I'm like, these must be big choices. Like right. you pick a side, you kill like X people instead of X. Well, Cause people. it was, it was you choosing what you did in the old games. Yeah. And th- that's like huge things. Like, did you side with the mages here? Did you side with the Templars here? Stuff like that. And you do that again. Yeah. I made one like serious choice in the game so far in inquisition. Oh wow. And that's it. So it's just like, how much side quest am I doing? Because I'm going to do it all. Yeah. Because I want my character to be leveled properly. Right. But, like, as I'm going through, I'm like, this is not that much, like, actual fun. And do you, then... Do you think that there's a point where, in, in games, that, like, too much... Like, there's too much. Like, because I know, like, there's... Now, there's a lot of complaints with games that, like, it's... You can, if you like, you can beat it in like a couple hours if it's worth the sixty bucks or whatever. Or like, you know, old games were hard but short. Now it's trying to find a balance between like, like normal, well, you have scal- diffi- normal difficulty and length. And yeah, it's, like, well, you have scaling right, and that's the problem. Yeah, is it like because I guess developers like just really want 
to be able to play their game. So like making it bigger and bigger so that you play it for longer. But like, is it that is it that the game is t- is so big that it takes it's a it's a, just a quest. It's like a giant giant quest to beat, but then you can't really replay it. This is like it's not so much that you can't replay these. It's that there's so much non consequential garbage. That's really like it's actual just garbage because like it's just fluff. It's filler. It means nothing. Yeah. It's like if someone gave you a sandwich, they had one slice of bacon, and then the rest was eight pieces of bread. Like, you're like, okay, that's great. This really isn't a sandwich. This is a loaf of bread that happens to have a piece of bacon mistakenly put in the middle of it. Sounds like Subway. No, Subway's good. I was trying to, I was trying to poke fun because Subway's kind of in the, in the shitter right now. But <laughs> that's fine. We eat there quite often. We do. It's still quite good. It is still quite good. But yeah, so like what we're like, just the overall point is like when you make a game like even for my younger self i wouldn't want to play a game that made me do a bunch of running around yeah that didn't make it feel good like dragon age origin had some small side quest stuff but all of it like had like you felt it like you're like okay you don't need to do collect five herbs you don't care about that but there's like stuff like like go to this place collect dragon scales hey here's the best weapon in the game now Oh yeah, and like stuff like that. So no, I, I yeah, I feel the same way. Like uh, one of the games that I played that did that kind of thing was um, which one? The early, at least the ones that I played, the early Assassin's Creed games. Like I think I don't think one had side. No, quests. one had nothing. Yeah, well, yeah, well, no, one was just story. the problem. With, yeah, the one, one was just a story. Two definitely had side, and then ever since they have side quests, then the, they blew it up too high. Uh, I think so, but well, I haven't played. I haven't finished three, and I haven't played any of the. Other, I haven't played four or five, but I know that like in um, which one was it? In in Revelations, it actually wasn't too bad because the the problem that I had with that game was that the story was pretty short, which wasn't that great, um, and then also the side quest. You could do all the side quests without doing any of the story. So I did literally all the side quests, got the best armor, found the secret armor, found the secret weapon, and then had those for the entire story. And and so I just beat it. But like it, in the earlier games like in Brotherhood or in 2, they had that kind of thing where as you progress as you progress for the story, more side quests opened. Yeah. I don't remember at all if you just kept progressing with the story if all the side quests disappeared i don't remember if that actually if that's actually a thing or whatever i'm just not too no sure. you, you because, open up new areas because basically what i would do is i would do a story part oh cool these side missions open up i do the side missions cool i'm gonna go to the next story part next story part cool oh cool some side quests do those like i would just progress through it that way yeah like, that's why like two is really good because it had proper pacing like there were small side quests yeah. But it wasn't, it wasn't too much, and that yeah. was the point. It was like it's striking a balance, right? Because a game now still needs to have content, but you're allowed to add some fluff. That's fine. Just don't make the whole game fluff, and then have like the small piece be the story. That kind of takes away from your game. So, like that again, things like even like um, games that I recently played was like Thief. Yeah, it has still a very good story. Uh, it still takes your time. You can do all the side missions. I did the entire story without doing like a single side mission the first run through, and I didn't realize it. But I was like, cool, this game is really fun. And I still would say, like, you don't even need to do the side missions. Yeah. There is two big side story arcs. Those are really cool. Okay. Uh, and then the side missions just provide you with extra cash. Things oh, yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. So, well, like, that's kind of the point is like, side missions are there to like if you want extra yeah like that's how i view it is like side missions are really just if you want to do extra stuff if you want extra cash or you like you want stuff early then do that stuff but that shouldn't stop you from progressing through the actual story yeah so so yeah no or, it, it's yeah it, it's it's, it's the thing of balance because yeah. I know it's like if you just did the story, it would be like a couple hours. Yeah. Or the best example for people to follow is what 
Bethesda. 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 You whatever. always say it wrong. Yeah, that's fine. Bethesda Softworks yeah. Studios. So Fallout 3 and Skyrim, those are great examples because it wasn't side well, quests. It was side storylines. Oh, okay. Like yeah, Fallout, yeah, yeah. if you go and just wander the wasteland, and then you'll come across storylines yeah. and then you play it. You're like, this is a cool like 30 minute to an hour segment. Yeah. I logged, I did everything. I 100%ed Fallout oh, yeah. 3. I got the super mini nuke launcher. Like I did everything. I looked up walkthroughs to do everything. Oh yeah. And I went to every place and every place that you explore is like at least moderately interesting. There's some reason to go there. Yeah. So. No, and, and like you can follow the main storyline, and characters will point you in the right direction. Yeah, but you could literally just exit the vault and then just walk into a random direction and go there probably and probably die, and then probably die. But you talk to someone, and they're like, "Hey, blah blah blah, this," and then you continue to do that, or you just kill them. Yeah, you can do that too. And then that, and then that's the thing. But that's more open world. Like they, they are really good about the open world kind of story. Yeah, which is really good. And who knows? Fallout Four. There's been some leaks for Fallout Four. Like I think they just, I think they just leaked the, what the, uh, not the VAT system, but what the weapon repair system looks like. Okay. And they're just, and they're just like updating it. I think they're like Fallout Three was a huge success. Let's just do it and do it better, which is really cool. Yeah, that's what like even with Dark Souls, I heard is like Dark Souls. They're like, we're narrowing in on what we really want. Yeah. And they're like, we're finally about to hit it. Because the other thing, too, is that you could always say is most games, the best in all series is normally number two. Um, For not all, obviously. <laughs> but if you look I at... Can, I can name a few right now. <laughs> yeah, but there's like... If you look at like some of the biggest games, like... I mean, if there is more than... If there's more than two. So if you have Super three, Mario Brothers. No, because here's the thing. And actually, I already prepared for this. <laughs> what? Yeah, I caught so, you. So what, number I was three actually, isn't the best one? No, well, no, number three is the best one, but number three is actually two. Because... No, it's not. Number two in Japan originally is not a Mario Bros. game. And what happened yes, was, is that's the original <laughs> thing, is that's a skinned <laughs> game of something else. Yeah, but the actual Super Mario Bros. 2 is just an extremely harder version of... Super Mario Bros. 3. But Super Mario Bros. 3, they're actually two different games. Like, yeah. I think the levels are totally different. I've never played the actual well, Super yeah, Mario Bros. They 2. Well, yeah, release it in Canada. You can find it, though. Yeah. But, but uh, on the no, Famicom. I, but uh, we have Famicom now, so we yeah. can actually play it. But no, I loved uh, the. Actually, no, it was released. It was released in Super Mario All Stars. Yeah. Uh, for the Super Nintendo, where you could do one. North American 2, 3, World, and then they called it Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Yeah. That's what they called it. So, like, it was... But see, that one's actually considered good because it was, like, a next level yeah. of, like, difficulty, that would, what people kind of wanted from it. But, like, the thing was, like, for most games, the first time you try something new, you, you got it, you made something. Yeah. But it's the second time that you refined it. And then oftentimes what happens with three, four, seven, depending on what Call of Duty Jeez. you're playing, <laughs> you no longer innovate and you just you're either rehashing what you've been making or you change too much. And that's where a lot of people start to run into problems. Right. So like again, Mass Effect, uh well, the only one being like Dragon Age two wasn't really considered as good. The fight, the combat system was way better, but the actual storyline was kind of half-heartedly written. Uh, yeah. So, like, it, that's a poor example of it. But like, the actual system was updated much better. Everything feels fluid. Things are better. Yeah. So, like, twos are typically the better one. Yeah. Now, some people, now some companies obviously have the chance to come out with a better version. But that's those. Those are the companies that don't release a game every year. Yeah. No, they they spend time like five, six years working on something to be happy with be it. happy with it and make it into something that people are actually gonna love and you know it, it feel is a completed full game and nothing's missing and hopefully nothing's broken <laughs> on launch. <laughs> yeah. So like again, it depends just on how game like how they release things like that. Yeah. No, for sure. Uh, so we 
we're a bit over the time that we said we were going to be over, but let's just go for another five minutes or so. Okay. So what, what else do you have there? Because we've been talking about video games for like the past 15 minutes. Well, it's kind of what we operate on. But like the, the one of the mother, other things that I'm just going to adjust while I'm trying to talk here. It's just All the right. best way to All do right. it. Uh, it's fine. I'm holding the mic. Uh, <laughs> was like, I was going to kind of talk about like the current state of the internet. Because How so? What, what, what is the, the current thing state I'm going to bring internet? up? One, it's shit. Uh, oh, it's always this. been shit. No, um, but this is next level shit. So first things first, what I'm going to say is the reason why I'm going to talk about this, it's important. We'll probably go to 45 because this is going to be a big topic. Okay. Whatever. We'll deal with it. Whatever. Um, yeah. So the current state of the internet is sucks and which is not the best for us. Just label, we, just labeled sucks. It's just sucks. Like in the shitter and that's <laughs> where it is located. And the problem with that is that we operate on the internet and a yeah. lot of people operate on the internet. And now the big problem with the internet is there's too many people and there's not enough correct information. So, uh, yeah, I would agree with you. Yeah. Because like the biggest problem currently is yeah. On the internet. Sure. Actually there is, I can't even describe how much actual true information there is. The oh, problem yeah. is no one's reading that. Oh. I have to go through the same bullshit every day. What has been disproven is false because people don't report on the correct news because it's not fun that way. Right. Like the most recent, literally an hour ago, I was reading about how they apparently found this amazing angel in London that like no one can explain and he looks like it has skin wings and it looks real. Uh, Everyone's like, oh my god, real angel found. And then it's like, Snopes, the only one that actually goes through yeah, and fact no, checks. I was, was going to say, I was like, there are literally websites now that, that just call out fake news yeah, stories. Yeah, they just, they just call out news stories and go you through to actually see if they're real. That shouldn't even have to be a thing. No, it but really But here's the problem. Uh, literally, then 10 minutes later, when the person posted it, the other person posts the Snopes article, article proving it wrong. No, it's some Chinese artists that were making an incredible plastic like surgery for like, or not plastic surgery, but like a plastesis, like a fake body. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, kind of thing. So like, it looks really real. And that's because that's what they were going for, for the photo shoot they were doing. Oh, so like, so like hyper realistic stuff. Yeah. yeah. The other thing I saw, and this is what sucks in my hometown, someone photoshopped and storm watched Ontario called them out and said we will actually fine you if you someone does this what they photoshop they photoshopped a tornado in my town like and they weren't even creative about like it. a landscape and then a f tornado or like a overhead like map view like they use for no like, no like reporting. it was like uh, like as if someone's on the ground taking a photo oh okay so like the but what they did is they're like after one google search we found the image search of the tornado that they used <laughs> superimposed onto a background i've seen so many of those i've seen so many like feeds or like th uh, articles where it's like you know poking fun at people like photo terrible photoshopping their well this wasn't even like photos. terrible like this was actually like moderately well done yeah and what people were doing was like oh my god are people okay does anyone know what the damage is like and then like stormwatch was like there has been no there's Tornadoes no been tornado if someone reports this again we will fine you yeah. because it puts people into a state of emergency of like yeah. danger yeah exactly so like it's we're in a bad place because people are bad and that's kind of the oh, problem no, that's entirely it like i don't think the internet is that terrible of a place well, the internet's it's the fine it's, it's the, the people that are on it yeah but like, I'm, I'm always blown away by it it like sometimes it doesn't, just read youtube comments no exactly sometimes it doesn't surprise me and then sometimes i'm just blown away by it how the fact that there's and the thing is like i try to sometimes i i really actually try to think like who would write something like this or who would post that or who would say that and then really i think about it it's like it could literally be anybody like it, it could literally just be whoever but then when they're on the internet they just are this other thing yeah. because it's just you can you're a faceless account and no one has to know your actual name where you live who, who your family are, is and you can say whatever you want well the other problem too is it kind of like i know a few people and like what well, i don't agree with it but the thing is like the internet comes with the same problem as opinions 
that they don't need to be based on anything. You can have baseless opinions galore, and that's how things just operate. Yeah. And it's kind of the thing that bothers me the most, because baseless opinions mean nothing. They add nothing to anything. Mm -hmm. It just fills up a bunch of space. It's like, if I was right now just being like, yeah, opinions are the best. They don't make any difference in the world. And, like, I don't think they're hurtful. Uh, yeah. And, like, just no one should ever, like, disagree with someone's opinion because that's their opinion. They have complete freedom to it. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, no, fuck you. I really don't believe all opinions are free <laughs> to be thought. <laughs> and the problem with this being... Freedom of speech, bro. Freedom of speech. First Amendment, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we hate black people. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Sorry, we don't. It's the fact that <laughs> I'm allowed to say that, cover it up under nothing and then be a dick about it you don't actually though no no exactly that's the point is like but that's what people on the internet do it's baseless opinions yeah saying that anything caused something yeah like one world government followed by x any like x could be anything could be raising price in bananas and people would still believe it yeah and they don't need a reason well i think i think there's a, i think what a big thing online definitely is is that and, and I, I think it's, I think it's still with really anything. Like I think, I think it's even with just normal day, which is that when something is good and well done, if people enjoy something, they're not going to say anything about it, unless they really did enjoy it, and then they'll like praise it. But like otherwise, if someone like I, I, I look at myself and I do this, even though I've never left a terrible comment on a YouTube video or on another thing, like where I watch it and I didn't like what I watched. And it, like nothing compelled me to be like this is shit fuck you go die like nothing compelled me to do that but nothing's ever compelled me to sit there and i really enjoy a video and go this was amazing awesome keep keep up the great work like no like that's because i liked it so i was like oh that's cool i watched the whole thing sweet i, I saw that video or like i'll watch it again or whatever or i'll give it a thumbs up like but that's it while there's something in people that if they don't like something, it just compels them to then feel the need to comment on it in a negative way. Yeah. It's like, no, it's like, it's like the same thing with Yelp. Like this is the thing that I've heard time and time again with Yelp is that whenever someone eats at a restaurant and they really enjoy it, they never go and write a review, never write a review saying this was great. Oh, yeah, it they'll was just amazing. Go eat there again. They'll just go eat there again and spend money there. But if someone hated the place and hated the service and hated everything, they'll go online and write, worst shit about the place like say basically their kid got kicked in the face at this place like it is fucking insane it's like as well yeah it's the idea likes, that yeah. no one ever will go out of their way to compliment because but people go out you of the way feel yeah you feel satisfied by what you thought was entailed to yeah you. even if they went above and beyond it you thank them yeah and then you move along kind of thing yeah it's the case where if you feel offended that you feel that you should defend yourself or and in like this case or of like or something wasted your time yeah. Waste, wasted like your energy to do or or anything like that yeah and then you feel the need to say something about it yeah and that, again that's how you get comments that are always negative because people don't want to support something because they think by supporting it they're already supporting it yeah and that's what people kind of rationalize right. wa like watching it every day yeah or continuing to do something is already supporting it you feel it like. that you're doing enough but complaining yeah. is the opposite and it's the only way that you feel but like if you stopped going to a restaurant you don't think that's enough because you don't think that's about you anymore. That's again, you just don't want to eat there anymore. And you just think that's natural. Yeah. But in the case of a restaurant, you're like, okay, I'll complain and other people won't eat there and that'll hurt them. And it's more yeah. about hurting them as a getting back situation, not, not satisfying. Yeah. Like them. Well, cause the other thing like with the restaurant analogy again is like, if you really like a place and you think, and you think you uh, had great service and everything, then you're going to recommend it to someone. But you're not going to, you know, I don't think anyone would ever feel the need to go on and be like, service is great, blah, 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 awesome, woohoo. Like, like, I guess you could also relate with like, but but it's on a whole other level of Steam reviews. It's on a whole other level of Steam reviews. Steam get, reviews get me. It get, it's, it's like YouTube comments. It's but but some of them do it really creatively, and some of them are just like really mad or whatever. Or some of them really, 
are really in depth with saying what is good about a game which is really cool well those are like people that like professionally review a game as if they were being paid for it yeah but most of them don't uh we like to thank them thank them yeah thank them because there's a lot of reviews that i go by and i'm like thank you for actually writing this oh okay yeah and just stuff like that no yeah they're those like the people that are at the top they're they're at the top for the reason yeah it's very true and i'd like to also thank you guys (laughs) <laughs> for listening to us yell for probably about 45 minutes yeah no the, the, yeah i think this was good it flowed really nice yeah this was fun we didn't even talk about everything that we want that the, i think you had written down but yeah. whatever but that's fine mm. maybe next time we'll have possibly a third person we'll possibly. figure that out no yeah so uh let us know in the comments you know please even we, comment even we, though we just shit on <laughs> well no the comments are good because now we're going to tell you guys we would like feedback if you got to 45 minutes and you don't tell us what you actually think of this for fuck's sakes i don't know i don't like, know we, we could check the youtube's analytics chart but like there's probably what, only going to be a few people that watch to see the what your attention is yeah no but uh yeah tell us what you think to give us you know your opinion on you know what we could do better next time or, or or what you think like we should focus on more or anything like that or even stories that even stuff that you want to hear like if you want to know more about us or whatever or talk about something and having other ideas for yeah, the throw podcast some stuff that you want to talk because like we because we would love to like have some interaction maybe or do other stuff um but yeah i think we're just gonna bring on it's gonna be mainly us and then we'll probably bring on friends or whatever else as soon as we start making more stuff get more people involved but uh yeah thank you for listening to we the call first. it we, we called it the unknown air i i i don't even know what this is called yet the unknown error podcast yeah, i think go that's that. good i looked up unknown error podcast and nothing else had that name so we're gonna go with that yeah um thank you guys for listening uh please watch other videos more stuff is on the way we just gotta Give us some time. Give us some time. Give us some. Give us some money. No, <laughs> but no. that would also help a lot. <laughs> but uh, links in the description to our Twitter, our Facebook, our individual Twitters, um, our Patreon page, all that jazz. And when the new one comes out, probably link to that too. And like the rare candy playlist and that stuff and all the goodies are down below. Cool. All right. So thank you guys for listening, and uh, we're hoping to, like we said, gonna do this weekly. So expect a new one next week. Take care. See you guys.